Good day, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Practice Problem Series. It is the third part of the arithmetic sequences problem. So let's start with this problem. In this problem, in this episode, we're going to name the next five terms of each arithmetic sequence given only the first term in the common difference. So how do we do that? So we need to list all the five terms. First five terms, I should say. So we know in the given number one that six is the first term. Now, since that this is a common difference, we only need to add this to the first term to get the second term. So 3 plus 6 is 9. 9 plus 3 is 12. 12 plus 3 is 15. 15 plus 3 is 18. So these are the first five terms for this, for number 1. For number 2, same process. Write a sub 1, which is 5. Now, add negative 2 to 5. 5 plus negative 2 is 3. 5 plus negative 3 plus negative 2 is 1. 1 plus negative 2 is negative 1. And 1 plus negative 2 is negative 3. So these are the first five terms of number and item number 2. For number 3, same process. Just write the first term first, 58. Then add negative 7. 58 plus negative 7, that would be 51. 51 plus negative 7, that would be 44. Then 44 plus negative 7, that would be 37. Then 37 plus negative 7 is 30. So this is the answer for number 3. For number 4, the first term would be 0. It's written here 0. 0 plus the common difference 1 half, but that would be 1 half. Plus 1 half again, that would be 1. That would be 1 plus 1 half, that would be 1 and 1 half. 1 and 1 half plus 1 half, that would be 2. So these are the first 5 terms of this sequence. For number 5, uh, let's work with fraction. Uh, now, I will answer this uh, with the denominator of 4. Uh, if I want to simplify it, I will do it later after after I decided with my answer. So, the first term would be 3 over 4. 3 over 4 plus 1 fourth would be 2 over 4. 2 over 4 plus 1 plus negative 1 fourth, that would be 1 over 4. Now, 1 over 4 plus negative 1 fourth, that would be 0. Then 0 plus negative 1 fourth would be negative 1 fourth. So let's try if we can simplify it. 3 over 4 will be 3 over 4. 2, well, two, two over 4 is equal to 1. That's the simplest form of that. Then 1 fourth, 0, and negative 1 fourth. Now, let's do the same thing on number 6. We have our first term, 1 over 3, plus negative 2 over, plus negative 2 over 3, so that would be 1 plus negative 2, that would be negative 1 over 3. Okay, now negative 1 over 3, plus, minus plus, two ter plus negative 2 thirds, that would be negative 3 over 3. Next is plus negative 2 thirds, that would be negative 5 over 3. And minus plus negative 5 over 3 plus negative 1, negative 2 thirds, that would be negative 7 over 3. Now I want to simplify it. I will just write a mixed number for it. So for number 1 is 1 third. Negative one third. This is negative one. Now this is five divided by three is negative one. Negative one and two thirds. Seven divided by three, negative seven divided by three is negative two. Negative two and one third. So that's the answer for number six. 
Now for number seven, again, let's work on with unsimplified first. We have four over five plus two over five. That would be six over five. Six over five plus two over five. That would be eight over five. 8 over 5 plus 2 over 5, that would be 10 over 5. Then, 12 over 5. Now, let's see if we, are, we can simplify something. So, we're good with 4 over 5. 6 over 5. 8 over 5. This is 2. And this is 12. 1 and... No. Uh... 12 divided by 5 is 2, and 2 over 5. So that's, that's the answer for number 7. Now, on number, on number 8, the, before we write the final answer, let's transform this two into similar fraction. So let's use 4 for our references. So 4 multiplied by 1 is 4. Plus 1 is 5. So that would be 5 over 4. So this will be our first term. Now, 1 half, the equivalent of 1 half in the in denominator of 4 is equal to negative 2 over 4. This is equal to 1 half. I just multiplied 2 to 1 and 2 to 2. 5 over 4 plus negative 2 over 4. So that would be 3 over 4. Plus 2, negative 2 over 4, that would be 1 fourth. 1 fourth plus negative 2 over 4, that would be negative 1 fourth. And negative 3 fourths. So let's try to, if we can simplify it. 5 over 4 is 1 and 1 fourth. 3 over 4 is 3 over 4. 1 fourth is 1 fourth. Negative 1 fourth is 1 fourth. Negative 1 fourth. Negative 3 over 4. So that would be our answer. For number 9, our a sub 1 is negative 2.4. Now let's add 4.2. Negative 2.4 plus 4.2. Since it is unlike sign, all we need to do is to... to subtract each one so we will get 4.2 minus 2.4 so we have 8 then 1 3 minus 2 is 1.8 so 1.8 so that's that's the answer Pos um, neg uh, positive 1.8 1.8 plus 4.2 is 6. 6 plus 4.2 is 10.2. 10.2 plus 4.2 is 14.4. So that's the answer for number 9. For number 10, we have our first term. We have 3. Plus negative 1.2, that would be 1.8. 1.8 plus negative 1.2, that would be 0 0.6. 0 0.6 plus negative 1.2, that would be negative 0 0.6. Then plus negative 1.2, that would be negative 1.8. So these are our answers. So thank you. That's how we answer this kind of question. To find the first five terms given the, the first term and the common difference. So hope you, you enjoy this video and please watch for more under this series. So that's all for today. Thank you.